Hey guys, on this video, we'll show you the Iron Man ROM for Galaxy S7 and 7 h Let's start, shall we? With this ROM, this ROM is the Galaxy Note 8 port for Samsung S7 and S7 h If you want to download and try it, please look at the model numbers and everything carefully before doing it. So as you can see, this is running on 7.1.1, which is the latest and the newest Android Nougat you're ever gonna get. I know that there are already a new version of the Android 8, which is Android Oreo, but right now Samsung haven't, they didn't put out any new ROM for Galaxy S7. So this is the newest version you're ever gonna get right now. So as you can see, they're running on the newest ROM experience, which is the Experience 8, right? Okay, which is the port from Galaxy Note 8 as you can see. So this ROM is a clearly like the main purpose of this is the port from Note 8. Every look, every UI and application and software will be for Note 8. Even this special keyboard feature where you need to use stylus to draw on it or write on it. But you can clearly use your fingers to write. Which is not comfortable and good but at least you have this feature on it. So. I hope you understand the purpose of this ROM. If you don't like this ROM, you should go with another ROM like S8 port which is more suitable. But for now, everything, every UI and every custom stuff you will have is from Node 8. Well, the installation process is quite easy, so easy that you can just follow my step. So basically, you just have your ROM just put in your phone. Remember, you have to have OEM unlocked, you have custom recovery, and then just install the files. And then just click next, 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 and choose what you want. So basically, that's it. It's like easy and simple process. By the way, the reason I take this long to make this review video because one is I'm too busy on my university final project, and another one is because I want to wait this ROM to be fully updated and I fully use it to really explain that if I got any problem or bugs or not. But then there's no new update and right now I'm currently on my summer holiday which is I have more time to upload. But anyway, this ROM is easy to install like another as Batman ROM and Iron Man ROM or Superman ROM that I've been revealed. If you want to try to install this ROM by yourself, you can watch my video on the link in the description down below or the eye icon above. Okay, to the next part of the video. Alright, as you already know, this ROM is the Note 8 port ROM, so they will have a lot of Note 8 features, but now I'm really gonna cover the most interesting features right now, which is cameras. So you fully get Note 8 camera, which is the new updated software version. You have ton of like features and pro and mode to try on, and the Bixby Vision, which is like an AI version you can go on and check your what it is like it looking at and stuff translate and your filters and stuff but you don't have AI emoji by the way you cannot do that because they don't sensors to do it and there's a bunch of like mini small features which is good if you want to try it out but the camera quality doesn't change though everything is the same but you have small nifty features like zoom in zoom out like stretch the screen resolution everything's still the same because they're using the same hardware but overall, you, it's good to have new version of the camera APK apps for your phone, alright? This is something that you will never ever gonna miss on custom ROM, which is Magic's Managers or you get root access. So right now I didn't update it, but you always get the updated version and the newest version of this Magic's Managers. And what it do is give you access to multiple root access stuff that you need to do, and you can hide root and stuff, alright? So moving on to the next thing, it's just a dual speaker mod. It's something that I've been love and something that I've been rooting this phone for since the beginning of the time. So I root this phone because I need this special dual speaker using this earpiece and the speaker down below to point out stereo feelings to it. So which help you to feel like your audio is more filled in. And it really need root, so it need Magic Managers. And it's Talk about Magic Managers. You can download more mods and customize stuff in here. And you can also download Exposed Frameworks, which is will ruin your height route on Magic Managers. But if you need it to do it like Garrity Box and more customize more stream stuff, you can use that. This is something extra that you can download on your Google Play Store. It's also need loot also. So this thing allows you to tweak your CPU usage, your battery and your software and how your OS or your ROM like tuning to manage your power consumption and your power performance so i always open on like 
increase more battery life, more optimized CPUs, and the fluid UI. So it allows you to have like smoother performance on scrolling and stuff. Alright, for the benchmark part, I don't really like this idea of benchmarking the score out, but as you can see, the number is a bit higher than you used to get. But then for overall usage, I feel like it's like already fluid and good enough to use in daily drivers, no lag, no issues. But as you can see, I just gonna do the benchmark and then show you how it looks like as a number result. Even though the results might not be accurate, because it depends on how much time because like some some of the phone that have good result doesn't mean that they have a good performance they just fake the result out or just like boot into like max out overclock system but as you can see the overall turned out to be great and this even though it's on Atutu apps benchmark thing it turned out to be higher than it used to be if you compare this to another ROM that I've been test like a couple thousand higher but then we just care about the overall usage, so I can confirm you right now, no lag, no issue. But then the same thing happened when you get your phone a bit warm or hotter than usual in the broad daylight, like while outside direct sunlight, your phone will tend to get heat up a bit and then you're gonna drag the performance down. But that is not like the main issue here. Overall, it's just good. You can use it normally without found any hiccups or lags or problem that you might find in like some of the poor, bad quality port ROM. All right. I just want to talk about this app. L Speed is also required root, but L Speed is really important app to boost your performance. So as you can see, I go into the main tweaks. I actually turn on the fluid UI and then fluid smooth scrolling, which is really helping on your phone overall experience trust me in the apps you can actually tune up your cpu usage battery life and other more but overall that will really help your device performance and more smoothness so on this battery life part i don't really have actual proof of evidence how it be or how it performs but you need to take my word on it so overall my daily usage just go out at the morning and then come back home on the evening and my phone actually need to be charged in the middle of the day sometime on my heavy usage but overall i just use my phone for spotify internet browsing and then a lot of chattings and browsing on my phone just but no games i didn't use a lot of games because of the internet usage i think and then my this phone you able to stay alive on standby time 10 to 12 hours whole day easily without any problem which is they have really good standby time but then the battery usage on the daily like heavy performance or constantly using is not that good but maybe that because of my poor battery my phone is like over one years old now my battery might be like kind of like old and then kind of ruined a bit so i think that's a problem not this rom by itself and I also use that out speed to boot the phone performance so it might take a lot more CPU at the time but my usage is so so not that impressive so I can able to survive easily without any problem 10 hours then by time but I like five hours of normal usage I think that should be enough compared to older ROM okay Okay, to the sensor part, I don't want to explain what each sensor do, so just take my word on this one again. Everything works, I didn't find any problem or anything, I just record this as like high speed to show you that everything that should have in this phone works properly. But then overall, I didn't find any problem on my daily usage, so just take my word, no problem, no issue, because this ROM, it's just a port of normal Galaxy S on Note 8 system which is have almost every sensor that you should have on your phone except your iris scanners and special cameras but then overall that what did you should have is working fine no issue at all right on this part i think you shouldn't be surprised on its performance on 2d games everything runs smoothly as s7 should be and then you just like play your casual game, daily games. I didn't take too much time to play actual heavy usage game. But overall, like just casual, come in and check some loot and open some box or just collect some diamonds and gems from the like, daily games. Everything should be fine. All right. For the 3D graphics game, I didn't see any problem as normal S7 performance should be. But this is like normal cartoonish 
middle mid range graphic styles so it didn't take a lot of performance overall and I played this game a lot actually so I didn't find any battery drain or huge performance issue and I just feel like this game is so natural and then no problem at all alright so just say that every game almost every game in the play store that use this kind of graphics should be fine without any huge performance issues or anything they didn't find any lag also but as you know playing games might take a lot some battery out drain a bit but yeah overall it's great last game that i tried is pubg mobile this is running on medium graphics and at highest frame rate as you can see everything should be fine should be as i said should be without any problem right but then if you take some huge performance or a lot of like everything a lot of going on in the games or when you go into the part where the games lead to running on like huge ball size at this part right here you might see some lag just some but it's not like a performance issue or anything it's just like a bit of like hiccups and then lag maybe it's the internet i'm not sure but then this game it's a game that take a lot of specs and then bad, kind of bad port or like supporting system compatible issue. But I think overall it's great for this size of game, you can see. And then you, if you go land down to the ground, just take my word on this, everything should be great. But then before when you're all trying to load, yeah, it's kind of laggy, but then after that it should be fine. I'm not going to show you the whole gameplay, so just take my word that it works, alright? And this game also take a lot of battery life and it's gonna heat your own phone up so fast. So shouldn't recommend you to play this game all the time, but then you can play it without any issue though, alright? Alright, on this part, I will actually explain on the bugs and issue that I found. Most of them are like minor bugs that will not like actually destroy the ROM or make you cannot use the ROM. But there's a some and a few that kind of like annoyed me from the first when I installed. Like it will make you ask your question like why this thing happened. First of all, the screen resolution. So if you go in here, I will not able and then the developer not recommend you to change the resolution to the biggest. No matter what you do, sometimes the layout and the ratio aspect is kind of broken so if you make it larger it kind of look odd to to you at least to me and then you cannot change the app draw size so all the apps and all the icons are remain so small because of the screen resolution that you need to downgrade and if you try to make your screen larger it will look weird i don't know why and then if you make it larger you will see that the icon is kind of seem bigger for some reason and kind of bolder and kind of weird so it's not like consistency between resolution so i just remain on like the centers and when you restart you can clearly see that the samsung logo is kind of odd the resolution kind of odd weird and then they're trying to adjust it afterward because i don't have like particular reason why but it's just weird next thing is that the nav bar so if you know that we have like hardware button on galaxy s7 right and then afterward on s8 and s9 and note series they don't have any button that at all after that so as you can see there's no light no matter what i do i touch the screen i touch the button usually there will be some light popping up but no that's nothing next thing is the battery so Right now it's kind of warm because I do consistently stress tests. So, but normally if you just listen to the music as I mentioned earlier, it's kind of warm than usual. I think it's my battery fault, but for right now I feel like the comp like the phone itself kind of worked too hard to get the battery up and running. All right. This many people complaining on my last video how to install this ROM. They are not able to have a signals and not able to access the image data. I am IEs, I don't know how that usually pronounced, but like I try to find a link and some source of information down below, but usually not help much because it's quite old. But the problem is that the ROM itself are not compatible with the hardware or device. So you might not able to fix this, but there's some article how to fix it. I'm not sure that this is gonna work or not. At least if you give it a try, if not work, I recommend you to back up and restore your phone to the older version or another ROM that's currently working. I don't know what caused the issue, but at least it's a point out to you to consider to install this ROM or not. All right. 
for our reviews, it's a great ROM. If you consider yourself looking for Note 8 port ROM on your phone, on your S7 or S7 Edge, but if you're just looking for like stable, good performance phone that's running on the newer version of like look of your Android, I prefer you to go with Batman ROM or S8 port ROM, which is like Batman ROM that I do the review before, which running the same, got the same features and stuff. And the thing that they only don't have is the S Pen features. And I feel like the S Pen feature is kind of useless to this point because you don't have actual S Pen to work with. And you have some features like you're writing with your fingers, which is not good and you're probably not going to use it at all. So I just recommend you to go with Batman ROM, which is you, you just need a better ROM. And another thing that I want to point out is that the light and the screen problem as you can see no nav bar resolution are odd so just say that if you go with s8 port rom or batman rom as i said it's better but if you just needed extra features all the features you can need that samsung provide and a newer version of android 7.1.1 the best is the latest nougat that is not oreo because oreo is not out for custom rom yet all right and there's like a couple of like no signal and compatible issues. So that's another thing that you need to consider. But if you really needed the ROM to run on like the latest version, like Note 8 system and stuff, this is the ROM to go. Easy to install and overall it's great. No problem. And the benchmark and the performance kind of better than Batman ROM for some reason. All right, that's the kind of my overall review. And they have a lot of some minor features that I didn't cover which is like the Iron Man ROM tweak system which is having since the Superman ROM and Batman ROM as you can see on the screen it's the same feature that you can change the color you can do a minor customization that I didn't want to explain and go through it anymore since it's the same over and over again with all those previous ROM by the same developers so it's just like a minor change customization by the same developer that made Batman ROM and Superman ROM so I hope you enjoy this minor like kind of long video kind of longer than usual but if you like this video don't forget to share like subscribe and tell me what do you think about the newest intro and editing styles i'm just trying to put more work and effort to it all right don't forget to share like subscribe again and see you guys later on the next video tell me what rom should i cover bye